Hey everybody and welcome back to Beauty's World. So today, you guys, I'm going to be showing you how to lay down the back of your wig. I know a lot of people do these videos and they only show you the front. I wanted to be one of the first to show you how to do the back. So if you want to see this video, please make sure you stay tuned. But until then, please make sure you subscribe, click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So the hair I'm going to be showing you guys is from China Lace Wig and this is a full glueless lace wig and it's the same wig that I showed you guys the last time but I wanted to get the bob but they sent me the exact same wig but we're going to make it work you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all those combs as I always do and it's really easy just take a really sharp scissors and you'll get it out really easy. So that's what it will look like. I'm not going to touch the back of the wig just yet but I will show you guys in a little bit how we're going to be doing this wig so we can do that perfect updo so the back can look nice and natural. I'm just loving the curl pattern on this hair. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and bleach my knots. And I did have a lot of bleach left over so I did do a little bit of streaks in the front of the hair. But I wanted to give you guys a look at how the back looks. This is just how it comes. Very full. I mean, it, it's it's okay if you want to just throw your hair up, you know, every once in a while. But if you want to have that really, really natural look, you're going to have to tweeze it. So I'm going to go ahead and tweeze the hair. And the tweezer that I like to use uh, is this tweezer here. And it's by Kala. I think that's what it said. Kala. And it's the one that has like the longer tip on it. I do have another tweezer I used to use, but that tweezer is not as good as this one and it cuts the time in half when I use that other one. So I've already tweezed it up a little bit, but as you can see, you can see that little band in the back. So we're gonna have to get rid of that, you guys. You see that? That's not gonna do. We're not gonna be looking like that in the back, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of surgery on this wig. So you see that? All that has to go. At first I was like, you know what, is this really going to work? Can I get this off? But I had faith in myself and I went ahead and took off the comb and, you know, assessed the wig. Of course you're going to need a sharp scissors like this so you can get in between all the nooks and crannies. And I just started cutting, you guys. I started taking my time and cutting through those little uh, threads. You see there? I'm trying to demonstrate it for you guys. I'm kind of failing, but yes, you're going to just cut through that thread. And once you get through it, you can start just kind of just tugging on it just a little bit so you can see those threads right there. You're just going to cut that off. You can still see a little bit of threading still in the wig, but I will take that out a little bit later. But I'm going to go ahead and remove that the same way that I did the other part. And there we go. Everything is emptied and cleared out so we can have a natural looking lace in the back. Now, I would normally bleach the back, but I wanted to show you guys another method. I just add my foundation and I seal it in with some spritz or the got to be glued spray. And that looks very natural also, if you don't want to do the bleaching process. This will be very quick and easy to do. And you're gonna just blow it dry. So here I just want to show you guys how I did the streaks in the hair and I just did this randomly. I didn't have any kind of pattern to it. I just put streaks in it wherever I could because I had so much bleach left over and I didn't want it to go to waste. And I really love the way it came out. I love the dimension in the hair. So now that the wig is on, I wanted to show you guys how it looked on my head. And it looks so natural, so beautiful. I'm just loving, loving, loving this look. So I have a little tip for you guys. If your lace is not blending the way you want it to, try going in with your contouring shade and it should make it look a little bit more natural and match your skin color a little bit better. So now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty and let's get into the back of this head and excuse my kitchen, you guys. Ugh, I've been natural for a couple of years now and yeah. It sometimes is not too pretty back there, but I'm going in with the Got To Be Glue Gel and we're putting that all around the perimeter and I'm gonna just blow it dry a little bit. Not dry, but tacky. And I'm gonna go in and spray the little Got To Be Glue spray. And it got everywhere, but it's okay. We'll clean that up a little bit later. Blow dry that a little while and check and see if it's tacky. And if it's tacky enough, you're gonna go ahead and lay that back down, okay? 
just like so. Make sure your head is leaned down. Your chin needs to be down when you put this on because if you do it the normal way with your head up, you're gonna probably pull it off when you try to lean your head down again. So it's just a great way to relieve the tension in the hair. So make sure you do it while your head is down and you're gonna just use circular motions while you're laying your hair down. And that should, you know, get those baby hairs out, cover the lace a little bit, make it look as natural as possible. And of course you're gonna be blow drying it at the same time so that everything can just melt in the way that you would want it to make it look as natural as possible and have the longevity, okay? And this should last you a few days. So after you do that, you're gonna go back in and see what parts did not lay down and you're gonna go ahead and just put your got to be glue, blow dry it and lay it down. And you're gonna do this as many times as you need to until the whole back is laid down perfectly. I like to use like the back of the comb like that instead of my fingers because sometimes your fingers can make it look a little bit white back there because of the heat in your hand. I guess that's what it is, I'm not sure, but sometimes it just make it look a little bit whitish and the comb just does a better job. So you see here, everything is coming out perfectly. Now we're gonna do the melting process and we're gonna add that little band around there. You're gonna leave that on for about 20 minutes. And I'm cleaning it up now with a little bit of water because of course we got that spray all over the back of my head. So I'm gonna do my best to try to clean that up, but that's not really my, my biggest worry right now, so I'm not really caring. <laughs> so when you start trying to do your updo, you're gonna make sure you hold that lace down when you're brushing or combing the hair because you don't wanna pull on it too much. So you're gonna just hold it down so that none of the hair or none of the lace will lift up. Now I'm really, really happy on how it looks right now, but I think the lace is a little bit too bright for me. I'm not sure. So I just went in with my contouring shade and that's where I think I kind of messed up because I'm not really liking that shade back there. So I probably should have used my foundation shade instead of the contouring shade, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. Next time I will use a lighter shade and something that's not too warm. You probably need to use something that's a little bit of a cool tone. Use a cool tone and not a warm tone back there because you can, you see what that looks like? Yeah, I should have kept it the other way, but it's okay. I'm still loving the way it looks. Everything still looks very beautiful, very natural, and everything is nice and snug back there. So I don't, I'm not gonna be insecure that my wig is gonna start lifting up, so. Loving it, here's a photo of what it looks like. Very natural looking. And I just went and threw my hair in a bun because of course if you're gonna have that back down like that, you wanna show it off. All right, you guys, so that's about it. So let me know if you guys like this video. Leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know if you ever try this out. I would love to know how your experience was. Send me photos. I would love to see them, you guys. So that is it. Please make sure you subscribe. Click that bell so you can notify whenever I upload a new video. And make sure you check out my latest video right here and what YouTube thinks that you would like the most. And that is it, you guys. I will see you in my next one. Okay? Mwah.